Hi, I'm Frank Thompson. This is my studio. I do fused glass wall art here, and that's basically taking glass and then cutting it, arranging it in the way you like it, and then putting it in a big oven and firing it in a kiln. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what the kiln looks like when the glass is 1500 degrees. So I've got this protective equipment on to keep me from singeing my hair and face shield down. Y'all ready? Okay, let's do this thing. Now I'm not going to open it all the way because I don't want to burn myself up. This is really hot, but you can see how hot that glass is when I open up the kiln. So right now, what it's doing is the glass is, is slowly melting together. And so you can no longer see the color. It's all mainly just reds and that type of thing. Once this glass melts together at a certain point, then we have to do what's called annealing, which is where the glass is soaked at certain temperatures at certain times so that it won't crack later. Now, when you open the kiln at 1500 degrees, you can still view the glass and cold air can hit it all the way until it gets to 1200 degrees. Once that's done, then it'll crack. So what we just did was just an experiment to see how hot it is in there. You can cook a pizza in probably three seconds in that. So that's pretty much it. That's We're gonna let this cool out and then in the morning I'll open it up and it'll be ready and then I'll take that and then mount that on aluminum so you can hang it on the wall. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, yesterday we fired this Atlantis piece about four o'clock in the afternoon. Today, it's 11.15, 11.20, somewhere around there, and the kiln is finally cool enough to open. You do, I've opened the kiln before when it got to when it wasn't cool enough and I've only done that one time just once so I'll never do that again but right now it's good we're ready to open it y'all ready to see what's inside let's look there is Atlantis so it looks like the fusing did perfectly all the edges are rounded out really smooth. There's no rough edges inside of it, but it still has some texture. There's something I got to grind there. But it looks like it worked out really, really well. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how we mount this on the aluminum. The standoffs are installed here, and this is going to set inside of these notches like this. And normally I glue these in, uh, but right now, just to show you what it looks like, this is how it's going to work. So the aluminum, the, the glass is actually mounted two inches above the aluminum. That way you get the, the reflections of the aluminum inside of it, and it gives it sort of a 3D effect. But you can see in the dichroic glass that all these colors will change, not only with the amount of light that hits it, but at the angle that you view it. So this is Atlantis.